So here we have this drone. Three of the motors are of this type, 2300 kV. And just one motor is of this type, which is 1650 kV. So one of this and three of these. And the drone is flying just well. It's flying both in stabilized and in acro mode. In acro mode it pulls a little bit to the left. So that's stabilized. my old motor it's a racer star br2205 and 2300 kv okay and that's a new motor it's an ishin 2306 and only 1650 kv so that's a lower kv motor that's a higher kv motor the shaft of this one is hollow but you cannot see through because there's a screw at the back there in the middle that one is not hollow that's a solid solid shaft another difference is the base this has this lower part the red one and this does not have an identical lower part that one is much smaller here you can see the wires inside the coils here you cannot see them from below you can see something through these openings and the wire of this one is much thinner compared to that one this has thicker wires this motor is in pretty good shape but that one is not so let's listen to it so that's pretty silent but listen to this one the bearings of this one are damaged, I think by dust. Okay, and that's a new motor that sounds totally different. The old motor here in the center had only a C-clip. Of course, I removed that one once, that's why it looks uglier. But the other one has a screw there, so that holds its shaft, its rotor, only with a C-clip. Whereas this one holds the shaft through a screw. We can see here that the lower part is much wider on this one compared to this one. The diameter is larger. The wires are much thinner here, you can see them. So that's a lower KV motor, 1650, has thicker wires. And higher KV, 2300, has thinner wires. The overall height is the same in this one, roughly. The screws that came with this motor are longer than on this one. This had two sets of screws, longer screws and shorter screws. And the longer one, the original of this motor, are too long for the thickness of this frame. So for example, as you can see there is distance here between the screw head and the carbon fiber and 
the end of the screw it is already touching the black plastic so if you force it in you might damage those wires so i must use shorter screws from the old motor or put some washers under the screw head so that they won't enter too much for example here i inserted one and as you can see the end it's already in contact with i'm not sure what maybe on the lower side it's making contact with something but i don't want to force them until they reach the coil because it will short circuit it and you are ruining the motor let's see on this side the end is already out and yes it's touching it's touching the wire so if your frame is not thick enough you might damage the wires with your screw you might short circuit it so that's the old screw they are in line at this point and the new screw as you can see it's longer so it might damage the coils and the wires are not too long for example this one barely reaches there to that point if it would be at least half a centimeter longer it would be better you could work easier it's okay for the right one but not too okay for the left one by the way the wires of the red motor since it has a higher kv are thinner than the one on the right side which has a lower kv 1650 compared to 2300 and the diameter of this motor is one millimeter less so if we measure it we can see that this one is 28 millimeter and the next one the next one is 29 millimeter so that's larger compared to this one and this motor is slightly taller than the one on the left one or two millimeters is higher this one the shaft diameter is identical, so the old nut is compatible with the new shaft. The one advantage of this type of motors with this large opening here is that you can see how much that screw is entering and whether it's touching the coil or not. Because on this one you cannot know that, you just tighten the screws and you're probably entering into a coil or not you don't know but with these you can see you can see that the screw here is not exiting and it's not touching the coil these two motors should be reversed currently they are rotating all of them to the exterior in this case it's to the right and to the right okay and they are numbered in this way so one two three four so i will reverse the two and the four that's the two and that's the four okay so that is in beta flight configurator let's close this one and open bl heady configurator Okay, we have to remove the propellers and we have to connect a battery. So the battery is connected. Now let's click on connect. So make sure you remove the propellers and power the ESCs. So plug in the battery. Okay, and after that, click here to read setup. and the 2 and the 4 should be reversed so ESC1 is normal 2 is already reversed so let's reverse it again put it to normal 3 is reversed and 4 should be reversed so in this case it's normal normal reverse reversed and now right setup let's disconnect it connect it again just to check it, read setup, and it's the same, normal, normal, reverse, reverse, so the settings were saved. So before all of the motors were spinning to the exterior, this is spinning to the exterior, 
but this was reversed it's spinning to the interior also reversed it's spinning to the interior towards the center this was not reversed so it's spinning outside so if you reverse the motors spinning direction from inside to outside you also need to reverse the two motors because otherwise the nut will fall off so for example if this motor is spinning to the left then this nut cannot be tightened also to the left because if i hold this one and spin the motor then the nut falls off so whenever you accelerate your motor you will loosen your nut so reverse the two motors if you reverse the rotation direction of the motors 